In this intermediate Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Word add-ins to add a bunch of different functionality to Microsoft Word. There are some great Word add-ins, and yet a lot of people don't know about them. The place you go to find Microsoft Word add-ins is by clicking on the Insert tab, and the Insert ribbon will appear, and then look for the Add-ins group. Now, if you don't see that in your copy of Microsoft Word, chances are you're using an older version of Microsoft Word. Add-ins are in the more recent versions of Word. And the Add-ins group basically gives us two things that we can do. We can go to the store to get more add-ins, or we can access the add-ins that we currently have. So let's take a look at that. I'll click on Store, and it opens up with a window where it recommends to me add-ins that Microsoft thinks I might like. And you can see that there are some pretty useful ones here, like Adobe Sign for Word and PowerPoint. That's one that I don't have, but I think I could definitely use that. So I'll click Add. It opens up a panel at the right. Sometimes it opens something in your document itself, and then you can use the panel to do something with your document. That's typically how it works. I'm going to X out of that one, though, and go back to the store. Notice that there are suggested categories. You can go to the apps of the year. You can go to communication add-ins, document review add-ins, editor's picks, education. There's just a whole bunch of different categories of Microsoft Word add-ins. You can also search for an add-in. So for example, I would like to search to see if there are any game-related add-ins that I can pull in. And it looks like there is one. So I could click Add, and now it looks like there's a strange-looking game that I can play as a stress buster. I'm going to X out of that. So that's how you get add-ins in Microsoft Word. I'd like to now show you three of my favorite Microsoft Word add-ins. And to do that, I'm just going to click here on this drop-down arrow, and let's start with my script math sample. I click on that, and it opens up a panel at the right, and it just says right here. Let me explain what the purpose is of the MyScript math sample. This add-in is especially meant for math teachers, but other people will find it to be useful as well. A lot of times it's hard to put in the math symbols or other symbols that we might want to use in Microsoft Word. And yes, I know that there is an insert symbol button where there are some common math symbols. But if you're using an obscure math symbol or a symbol that's not really a math symbol, but some other kind of symbol, it can be hard to kind of search through all of this, browse through them, and find the right symbol. So if you don't want to do that, just use my script math sample, and you can draw the symbol right here in the box, and then just click this button, and it adds it to your Word document. Looks like it worked beautifully. I could also try this math symbol, and that worked. And let's try one more, and it worked. So this is a handy little add-in for Microsoft Word. I find it to be pretty useful, and I do use it quite a bit. All right, let's take a look now at the second add-in that I recommend, and this is the Word Cloud add-in. It's called Pro Word Cloud. If you're not familiar with Word Clouds, basically a Word Cloud is just a visual way to display text. So let's say in my Word document I have the Gettysburg Address. Okay, there it is. I can use this Pro Word Cloud to display this text beautifully. I can go in and choose a particular font, a color scheme, a layout. There are some case options, lowercase, uppercase, intelligent case. I'm just going to stick with intelligent case. And then how many words? I'm going to say maximum of 200 words. The size of the word cloud. Okay, so I'm ready to go. The last step before I click create word cloud is I have to highlight the text that I want to be turned into a word cloud. Now I can click create word cloud. It's generating an image for me. There it is. And then I can right click on the word cloud, copy it, and then I can click into my document and right click paste. And there's my word cloud. One of the nice things about word clouds is that they illustrate for you which words were the most commonly used words in the text. So in the Gettysburg Address, notice that the word nation is one of the most used words, as is dedicated. And that's very appropriate, that the word nation would be used the most in the Gettysburg Address. So I really like Pro Word Cloud. I think it's a fantastic little tool to use in Microsoft Word. The last Microsoft Word add-in that I wanted to share with you is Copy Leaks Plagiarism Checker. And this is a great one for teachers. And to show this one, I'm going to start by opening up a document. Let's pretend like it's a document that was turned into me as a paper. And I want to check and find out if the student plagiarized. So give me a second to open up another document, and then we'll look at the Copy Leaks Plagiarism Checker. 
Okay, here's the document. It looks like several pages, looks like some good work, but I want to check to see if the student plagiarized. So I'm just going to go up here to insert my add-ins and I'm going to click this drop down arrow, choose copy leaks plagiarism checker. Do I want to check only the marked parts or the entire document? I'll say the entire document. I click scan. Is this a business document or an academic document? In this case, it's an academic document. I click continue. And now you do have to register in order for this to work properly. So now it should work and I can click scan and it's performing a plagiarism scan. It does take a little while to finish this, maybe 10 to 20 seconds. And after doing so, look what it found. It found a document online that has 100% of the words. So that's definitely a red flag. Here's another document online that has 48% in common and then it goes on down the line. So this is a great tool, especially for teachers, but also for other professionals and for students. So I hope that you've enjoyed learning about the Microsoft Word add-ins. If this video has been helpful to you, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday.